While gunfire erupts overnight in Philadelphia, police are adding several more shootings to an already long list of investigations. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob is live outside of police headquarters this morning with the latest details. Dan. Good morning, Jim and Jan. It has been a historic week in our city of Philadelphia, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Not even 24 hours after Maurice Hill stepped out of a North Philadelphia row home and into police custody after shooting six officers, Police Commissioner Richard Ross is back on the job after more shootings. It certainly stretches you. Um, it's a slightly different kind of circumstance, but it's still multiple victims, just the same yesterday, just all, all happened to be police officers. A particularly bloody 12 hours in the city of brotherly love. Two drive-by shootings, one on East Seymour Street, the other on 42nd Street. Both shootings sending three people to the hospital in total. Then five more shot in a shooting at 15th and Nidro. Fortunately, at this point, no deaths. Multiple shell casings out here. I believe uh, 26 or something like that. Uh, different calibers. Uh, suggesting that clearly more than one person is firing. A Weary commissioner says the police play a large role in curtailing gun violence, but it's more clear than ever they cannot act alone. We also have some folks who need some guidance and uh, need to understand that, you know, picking up a gun is not the way to resort or handle your, your issues. Sadly, we've got a small percentage of our young men who think that is the only way to deal with situations, and we've got to break that culture too. The commissioner says one of the only ways to wrap our arms around this issue is to come together and try to find a solution to stop the gun violence problem that is plaguing the city of Philadelphia. We're live this morning outside of police headquarters. Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Dan, thanks so much.